Transport Phenomena in Biosystem is a compulsory course for third-year students of Bioengineering Undergraduate Study Program at Institute Technology Bandung. This course is offered in the order semester and the lecturer responsible for this subject is me, Yusuf, from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology Bandung. This course consists of 16 modules and this is the first module introduction, segment 1, course overview. We shall begin this module with the course description. This subject will elaborate on transport of momentum, energy and mass, as well as relevant applications in bioproduction system. References used in this course include textbooks as well as numerous high-indexed journals to discuss recent developments of transport phenomena in bioproduction systems. Evolution methods used in this course include assignments, quizzes and examinations. There are four learning outcomes that need to be achieved by students at the end of this course. First, students able to describe Newton's law of viscosity, Fury's law, Fick's first law and their examples in biosystem. Second, students able to apply microscopic balance and solve relevant problems for transport of momentum, energy, and mass in biosystem. Third, students able to explain transport of momentum, energy, and mass in biosystem both orally and written. Last but not least, students able to explain recent application of momentum, energy, and mass transfer in bioproduction system. The content of this course consists of 16 modules. The first module is Introduction. The second module is Conservation Relation and Momentum Balance. The third module is Viscosity and Mechanism of Momentum Transport. The fourth module is Shell Momentum Balances and Velocity Distribution. The fifth module is Equation of Change for Isothermal System Part 1. The sixth module is Equation of Change for Isothermal Systems Part 2, followed by Creative Presentation and Midterm Examination. Module 9 is Thermal Conductivity and Mechanism of Energy Transport. Module 10 is Shell Energy Balance and Temperature Distribution. Module 11 is Equation of Change for Non-Isothermal System. Module 12 is Diffusivity and Mechanism of Mass Transport. Module 13 is Concentration and Distribution in Solid and Laminar Flow. Module 14 is Mass Transport and Biochemical Reactions followed by Key Study Presentation and last but not least, Final Examination. There are three major references used in this study with the main textbook is Transport Phenomena authored by Bird et al. supported by a second textbook Transport Phenomena in Biological System authored by Trusky et al. In addition, numerous high-index journals are often referred when discussing recent transport phenomena in bioproduction system. Evolution methods used in this course include assignments, quizzes, and examinations. There are two assignments which contribute 20% to the final score. The first is case study and the second one is creative presentation, which will be discussed in detail in the next slide. There are four quizzes that contribute 10% to the final score. The first quiz covers the topic from Module 2 to 3. The second quiz includes the topic from Module 4 to 6. The third quiz covers the topic from Module 9 to 10, whereas the fourth quiz includes the topic from Module 11 to 13. There are two examinations, midterm examination and final examination. Each contributes 35% to the final score. Assignment 1 is case study. 
Students must work in groups which consist of three to four students to write a paper based on the data from Scopus Index Journals to describe transport phenomena in bioproduction systems. As for the topic, each group may choose either momentum, energy and mass. Assignment 2 is creative presentation. Students must work in group, which consists of 5 to 6 students, and review the modules that they have learned up to module 6 as a preparation for the midterm examination. Each group must present what they have learned in a creative way, such as performing a theater, singing a song, reading a poem, or other creative ways that students find attractive as the presentation will be evaluated by fellow students. You may want to check the YouTube for an example of creative presentations. As for the timeline, this course will be delivered in 16 modules. Topics for assignment 1 has been given in this segment. Quiz 1 will be carried out in the fourth module. In module 7, Student will be given quiz 2, followed by creative presentation. Midterm exam will be conducted in module 8, whereas quiz 3 in module 11 and quiz 4 in module 14. Students will present their case study in module 15, followed by final examination in module 16. For the next segment, we will discuss about the subject of transport phenomena. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.